Hello YouTube, Thai Seeker here and today I have some tips and tricks on how to make your tablet or smartphone to become faster or smoother in gameplay or even in real life performance so well there are a few things i want to tell you for the video is this is indeed a stock uh sorry a custom rom and also running a custom kernel however it's just rooted and uh, there's no hard there's no performance tweaks or this is running 1.5 gigahertz dual core um Sna uh cortex a9 so there's no uh, I didn't overclock it, there's no um, deodexing or anything like that. However, this is running custom ROM and custom kernel just to get the root access. And uh, also some tips and um, tricks are needed to your tablet to be rooted or your, iPhone, your phone to be rooted. And um, for example, the Greenify app, which I'll be showing you later on. So the first tip is going to be, you will be uh, the prerequisitions or what you need to do or what you need to have on your smartphone is to have uh, Android 4.2.2 and above. Um, what you should do is go to the settings and scroll all the way down to developer options. For those of you who do not know where or how to get developer options, you go to about device, um, you go to build number and press it seven times. As you can see, I already have developer mode already on so what you do is go to developer options and turn it on once you've turned it on go all the way to um, drawing as you can see here and go to um, force GPU rendering and turn on 4 times MSAA what this will do is it will um, turn for force a GPU rendering it will allow 3D and 2D GPU rendering to happen in uh, games such as Dead Trigger 2 and also uh, games such as MC4 it will all in all smoothen your game experience also 4 times MSS, MSAA sorry, is to allow anti-aliasing as you can see in uh, Tegra or Nvidia devices if you were to turn on your um, uh, computer and you'll see your if you have an Nvidia ch a chipset you'll see um, anti-aliasing 16 and stuff like that and this is will allow it to happen in uh, OpenGLES 2.0 apps. Um, what I see in game performance is there is an increase in game performance. For example, Asphalt 8. Um, if I were to turn on um, the app, the FPS meter, and uh, I play Asphalt 8, there's a real difference about five to six FPS increase. Um, also, another tip is to turn off live wallpaper like I have now because it eats up RAM so what you do is set wallpaper go to home or lock screen and go to wallpapers and uh, search and and um, go to anyone which is not moving and as you can see it's extremely smooth now um, this takes less RAM and is all in all better um, yeah oh and the third one is to install this app called Greenify you'll be needing to have root for this so I recommend you to go uh, and root it as this app is extremely useful it's in play store all the links will be in the description below so let me find it ah greenify so what this does is it hibernates your app for example i have facebook groupon and messenger hibernated what this does is when it's hibernated it will not be running in the ram and using your ram this is extremely good for devices who have low ram like the galaxy node or even the s2 so what you, uh, how to enable is you press this plus button and it can even show you the apps which are running in the background or schedule running since last startup and you can see how many wake ups and uh, runs for example let's say if i want to hibernate whatsapp or even deer hunters you can even whatsapp uh, sorry you can even uh, hibernate multiple things at multiple times so let's say if i want to hibernate deer hunter i press uh, deer hunter and click it uh, and run and it'll show you that it's successfully hibernated um, how to unhibernate is uh, to rerun it for example Facebook if I were to run Facebook again and let's wait for it to start up as you can see it started up and if I were to go back to Greenify as you can see it's pending 
which means that it's, it's been opened and it's now unhibernated. To hibernate again, you can either enable auto hibernate, which will ultimately hibernate uh, the app if you're not using it for a while. So, yeah, or you, or you can um, manually do it when you uh, you can manually do it by pressing Facebook and and uh, pressing the Z Z Z button. So that's the third tip. The last tip, which is extremely simple, is to add less widgets or even add more empty home screens. For example, as you can see on this home screen, I have many widgets. As you can see, there's some lag. If I were to open a few applications, internet, S Planner, as you can see. There is some lag. Um, I recommend you to reduce the widget, or if you do not want to reduce the widget, I, I recommend you to add a home screen, an empty home screen in between the. Uh, sorry, in in between home screens. For example, as you can see here, it's extremely smooth. This is because um, there's less things to render in the last home screen, and all in all, it gives you an extremely smooth experience. So guys, that's that. That's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I'll be back next week or even this this few days to review another awesome review for the Galaxy Tab Three. And also, this works in any Android, but some you'll be needing to have 4.2.2 and above. So guys, have best of luck and enjoy the day.